So the next time I tried something different and I thought, where do I want my stitch to begin? Do I want it stitched start at the stop, the top rather, or the bottom? And I wasn't really certain, so I went from the top down. Then I thought, I've got to get the effect of two stitches. So I went one, two, three, and back up to the top. And then I went to Object Details. And I set the stitch length for six, I think it was. It might have been five. And then I set the dimensions. First off, I want the height. And I want the height to be around four millimeters. And I want the width. I'm going to check it's 16 because that's what my percentage was down here. So that would give me a stitch across here about 1.1 and 1.1 and then a long stitch there. And I thought, well, that might not be too bad. So I did that. I blew my screen up. But I can still see penetrations. So, stitch length, let's make that seven. I'm going to check my dimensions again. Height four, width 2.32. Okay. I still got stitch penetrations and then it suddenly hit me those are probably your tie stitches so I highlighted that I went to embroidery I went to make motif and I put this one in Xperia as well and I called it and we'll call this buttonhole Max 2. Okay. And I put my trace lines across the middle. And I went 1, 2. BHM2 has been created, so I clicked off. So then I went and I picked up my motif run line. I go down to Object Details, Line Stitch, BHM2. It's looking good so far. And I set my density for 0 0.45. I hit that there. I can't see any rib effect. I tell it OK. And then I make a round node round node, round node, round node, and a round node. And I nearly got what I wanted. So I moved my trace line out, and I moved my trace line out. And now I've lost that silly little pattern at the end. And I've got a kind of double-edged corded effect here. And I thought, well, that's okay. But I didn't like this bit. So anyway, I went on and I created half a dozen buttonhole stitches. So I'm going to pick up my Motif Run Line tool and I'm going to go to Line Stitch, Select, button that you can see, one, 
two, three, four. Um, where's my other one? So that's not all there was. Hmm. I may have deleted the other one. And I go down into me. And I did these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I choose that one and tell it OK. I'm going to up this one to 2.5. No, we'll make it taller. We'll make it 4. And immediately I get a stitch penetration. So I thought we well, can't have it that tall. So we'll try it at 3. And I've got a stitch penetration again. 2.5. Stitch penetration's gone. And I made this point 4.5. OK. And I made a circle. 1. I'll make it a bit bigger so as you can see it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That wasn't bad. But it wasn't that good either. So then I decided I would try. And I'm I'm down here. I thought I'll try the next one. I set that one for 0.45 and 2.5. And just click back into this bottom one. No needle penetration. OK. And I did another stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And I saw that one and I thought, wow, I like that. And you don't forget, we're now up at 800. I'm going to try and make another one. So I came down. Oh no, yeah. I thought for a minute I wasn't in the right screen. So I tried another one. And I made this one. 0.45. And I made this one. Three. I click back in here. No extra needle penetration. OK. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I thought I liked that one even more. <laughs> and it looks so much bigger than this one. But I'd put the trace line at the bottom. There's no trace line in the middle here. And that's why it looks so much bigger. OK. And then I thought, well, I don't really want a trace line at the bottom because... I want to be able to put my trace line so as it runs between my two lines. My inner reinforcement line and my cutting line. So as I know that's going to come just over the edge. 
So I came back in and I went to BH6. Made it 0.45. Click on this one and tell this one I want this one. 3. I click back onto the 045. No extra needle point. OK. And I made another stitch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. But I put the trace line at the bottom again. And of course that makes my inner circle that much bigger because I'm following the grid. So I tried again. H7. And this time I don't have a stitch coming up the centre of it. Point four five. Clicked on that and I made this one three. Click back into my point four five. No needle penetration. Okay. Doesn't mean I won't get one. One, two, three, four, five. And I looked at that and I thought, hmm, I do like it, but I've lost what it was I was trying to get. And what I was trying to get was the double row and the closest one had been this one. 